In this video, I'm going to show you the process I set up in Podio to move my lead through my lead funnel and then print out an offer letter, which then gets sent to lob.com to be mailed out. This is done very quickly by four button clicks, and I'll show you this right now. So the first thing I want to demonstrate to you is that I have no offers records, no pursue records, and I have one leads record which I'm going to then move through the, my funnel from pursue to offers. So say I get this, this lead into my uh, Podio account, either through a web page fill-in or I entered it in there. So we'll click on it, and I've talked to this guy, and he seem, seems like a property that I, I want to pursue further. So I'll come in here, go to status, and then change the status to pursue. So now that a lead, there's been a task assigned to me that says gather more information about this lead, which meant that it was added to the pursue app. So let's go back to the main page go to pursue now you'll see that there is a pursue record for one South Street we'll open this up we gotta add some more information about the ARV after we've done some research it's about 120,000 repair costs are at 25 my wholesale fee on this one is going to be about five thousand dollars my percent of ARV we're going to go with 70 percent well, misplaced the decimal place. So 70%. So my max offer is $54,000. So that seems like something I want to do. So now I want to create my offer. So we'll change the status in the pursue record to make offer. And now an offer record has been created and a task has been assigned to me saying that I the offer is ready to send. So I have to go into the offers record and send it. One other thing I want to mention is you see the relationship. This links back to the lead. So if I click on the blue arrow, it'll go back to the leads app and then show me the full lead so I can get some more information, see some pictures, and what have you. So let's go off to the... Uh, to the offers app to see my offer. There it is right there for $54,000, one South Street, and the status is an outstanding offer, meaning I haven't sent it yet. Not sent. Now what also this happened is it created the offer with a mail merge. So let's open that and take a look. Dear Jim Stevens, yada yada yada, located at one South Street, we have driven Inside your property, like make you an offer. So that's the offer, the offer letter. It's been attached automatically to the offer record. And now I would like to send it. I've set this up where I can email the offer letter directly to the seller or send an actual mailing to the, the seller using LOB. Either one happens in one click. It's more official if you send a, an actual. USPS postage do mail to them. So I'll click on this. Send offer mail by lob. Now my offer my the information has been sent to lob, the recipient information plus the offer letter. Let's check my lob dashboard. Come in here, we'll go to letters, and we'll refresh this. This is an old one that I tested before. Let's refresh this. We should have two of them in there now. And there you go. And this is today's date. So we'll click on this and we'll show you that the offer letter has been created and is ready to go. Since this is my test account, there's no actual mailing that's going to go out. That's what's good about LOB is they have a testing environment where you can send stuff to it and not be charged. Also, another thing is because Lob uses a, a window envelope that they require to have the address in a certain spot on your letter. If you do not, 
have that address, you can tell Lob that you don't, and it'll add a second page, which has the address in the right spot. So when they fold it and put it in the envelope, the address will show. So you can view the letter and the, the header page. Here's the header page with the address. And here is the letter that will be sent out to Jim Stevens, I presume within the next 24 hours. So that's the entire process that I walked you through below. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to email me at scott at Investor. And uh, I thank you for your interest.